Now we come to the Bible itself. The Bible teaches that the Father is a person, uh, for he expresses a will in the Mosaic Law. So in the Law of Moses, uh, God the Father expresses a will, and only a person uh, can have a will. Uh, he also expresses wrath against sin in the Bible, uh, and wrath or anger is an emotion, so only persons have a will and, and emotion. So God the Father is a person. Next, the Bible teaches that the Son is a person, for he is depicted as having emotions, knowledge, and a will. In addition, he forgives others, and only a person can do this or possess these qualities. Uh, some verses illustrating these personal aspects of Christ are the following. So we're going to look at uh, specific uh, passages within the Bible that uh, will show uh, certain things are true of Christ that could only be true of him if he were a person. Uh, the first verse is in John chapter 11 verse 35. Uh, it's the shortest verse uh, in the King James Version of the Bible, though not in the NIV. Um, he said is the shortest verse in the NIV, just uh, as a useless trivia. Uh, Job, Job 3, 2, he said. Uh, but, it, but in the King James, Jesus wept. So Jesus is at the uh, funeral, you could say, of his, fr his friend Lazarus, and he is sad. Uh, so Jesus wept, uh, thus showing he has emotion. The next verse, Mark chapter 3, verses 1 to 5, and this will show that he has, uh, uh, again, that Jesus has emo emotion. So chapter 3, verse 1, And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him for working on the day of rest. And Jesus says to the man with the uh, withered hand, Stand forth. And he said unto them, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. And the final verse, And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand, and he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. Uh, so we see in... Uh, one verse there that Jesus was angry and that he was grieved. Uh, these are emotions, these are feelings, these are qualities only a person can have. If you have emotion, then you are personal. Uh, the next uh, passage we're going to look at is Matthew chapter 9, verses 3 through 4. And we're going to be looking today at a lot of actually for the rest of the series on the Trinity we're going to be looking at a lot of scriptures uh, the r rest of the series after we cover the doctrine of the Trinity uh, as we're fleshing out what it is that Christians believe uh, we're not going to be quoting as many scriptures um, but I think this is important uh, because uh, the doctrine of the Trinity is said by those who deny it to be um, not found in the Bible, so so we really want to lay a good biblical uh, groundwork here. Uh, so Matthew chapter nine verses three to four, and behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, "This man Jesus blasphemes." And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, "Wherefore think you evil in your hearts?" Uh, okay, so that was the last verse of, of that passage. So uh, he knows what they're they're thinking. And to have knowledge you that presupposes that you're a person. A rock doesn't know uh, uh, a rock doesn't have a mind. But Jesus being a person 
uh, can know things. Uh, another passage uh, demonstrating that Jesus had knowledge is John chapter 17, verse 25. And if you're wondering what this has to do with the Trinity, uh, just uh, hold on, it's all going to tie together here. Um, once we tie the Chalcedonian box that we talked about before, once we tie all that together, uh, we'll see the doctrine of the Trinity. So, John chapter 17, verse 25. And I apologize, I, I didn't have time beforehand to write all these down, to type all these scriptures out. Uh, so I will have to take a moment in between verses to look up the next one in the Bible. But I thank you for your patience. Uh, verse 25, O righteous Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. So Jesus is praying um, to God the Father, and he says that he knows God the Father. Knowledge. Um, okay, and then we get a f several verses in Luke, and then one in Mark, and we'll be done this uh, part of the of the box. All right. So the first one, Luke chapter thirteen, verse thirty-four. Luke, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and there were actually some people um, who were claiming that Jesus was not a a human person. Um, th they would admit, I suppose, that he was a person, uh, but not that he was a human person. Um, in the early days of the church, but uh, now it's more popular to say that Jesus wasn't God uh, than to say that he wasn't human. All right, so Luke chapter 13, verse 34. Okay, Luke 13, 34. Uh, Jesus is talking. He says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets, and stonest them that are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings, and ye would not. So Jesus wants to do something here with Jerusalem, the people in the city of Jerusalem, but they are unwilling. So Jesus has a will, and you have to, again, be a person if you have a will. Uh, then in chapter 22, uh, turning over to chapter 22 of the same book, uh, verses 39 to 42. Uh, let's see here, 20. Uh, I'm sorry, 39 to 42. And Jesus came out and went as he was wont to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down to pray, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me, nevertheless not my will, but thine be done. Uh, so Jesus is praying in the Garden of Gethsemane before the crucifixion. He's saying, uh, let this cup pass from me. In other words, I don't want to be crucified. May I not be crucified, but your will not mine be done. So Jesus here is seen to have a will, and we'll pick up uh, with the last verse from Luke in the next video. Thanks.